As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. What are you doing? I'm alive, yes. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. More of those wretched things. Vicious filth. Best keep some distance or this will be a short time.
what comes easy these days. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. is not the world you know. Rest feels impossible, no matter how heavy your eyes become. Every time they flicker shut, the tadpole seems to twitch behind them. Dragons, gears, and the hells themselves have come after you. Yet it is this creature that lingers in your skull. And you will find it. No matter the cost, your life is your own. No wriggling tadpole is going to change that. Sleep claims you. Determination buoyed by gentle dreams. Player. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. is on the brink of death, but there's still time. You'd give your life to save it, to nurse it back to health. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. to break through. 
through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. Over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. And it looks like we're both starved for answers. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor.
you don't. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. There's something underneath here. Ah. Oh, you give a book. Everything all right out there? Yeah. Not always were a bit soft. But I've got plenty of friends who ain't soft. Come in here and you can meet him. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Danaes! Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've but one chance. Join me or die.
destroy me. Waste a step. hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gate tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? For a split second, you see a swirl of untamed magic. Then his defenses drop like a portcullis. Out! That was... uncalled for.
Nothing. What you saw was merely mental disorientation brought about by your intrusion. Please don't try that again unless I invite you to. How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. shouting up ahead we should check it out but be careful open the bloody gate nobody gets in Zevlor's orders that pack of goblins will be on us any second what's going on goblins are on our tail open the gate Zevlor now you let goblins here where is the druids there's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting. Slow down. Bicycle and sword. Talk to 
me. These boots have seen everything. the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! 